Today's video, we're gonna be talking about 4K streaming, how you can easily have instant playback of 4K movies or TV shows uh, with no buffering on your on, a, on the smallest devices. You don't need a lot of RAM to get uh, really good playback, and I kinda wanna explain the theory behind streaming in 4K in today's video. Coming up. What up everyone, welcome back to iTrust Dream. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. Starting of the weekend, happy Friday. I wanted to let you guys know that I did take the week off to go camping with my family. I am back, we are ready to get back into action. And yeah, it's starting to get really hot here in SoCal, so uh, we're gonna stay inside. So uh, before we get started with today's video, I wanted to let you guys know about today's sponsor. And I wanted to give a quick shout out to for today's sponsor, and today's sponsor is, um, is actually you guys. Today, you as the iTrust family is sponsoring today's video. So today, I wanted to take the time out and say thank you. I wanted to say thank you for constantly showing love on my channel, constantly commenting on my channel, and also hitting the thumbs up. And when I do post a video here on my channel, uh, you guys are consistent. And that's why today, I wanted to take the time out and, and in the beginning of today's video and just say, Thank you. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for trusting in me. And thank you for always being on, uh, just being available for when I do post a video that, that you guys take the time out of your day to watch my content. And that's why, that's why I have this sign to remind me every single day. Making content for you guys is something that I truly love doing. So today, I wanted to say thank you. Started with today's video, we're talking about 4K content. 4K content, not 1080p scaled up four times to make it t uh, 1080p. I'm talking watching content in 4K on your guys' streaming devices at home. I trust, I know you watch a lot of 4K because if you guys aren't following me on Twitter, I talk about uh, different movies that I do watch. So if you guys wanna follow me at I trust Stream on Twitter, uh, get to uh, follow me, tweet at me, and let me know what movies you guys are watching because I'm always looking for new content to watch at home with my family. But I wanted to let you guys know about playback, how I watch 4K content. Is it a certain application that I'm downloading? Is it the type of files like getting something from Premiumized or versus Real Debrid? Am I using Zion TV? Am I using the uh, the latest version uh, on, on BTV? No, it, it's none of those applications, guys. Uh, I want to let you guys know that I want to bring you guys up a level when it comes to streaming. I want to challenge you guys at home to make your streaming experience while watching content on your television a little bit better. And today, we're talking about why I choose to use Plex. Why do I use Plex? I used to use MB for a while because I was paying a provider to get the content. That provider has now gone. I have the reins. So what does the reins mean? Uh, I choose to download the content that I want on my own server that's hosted far away from here. So let's start with the difference between uh, streaming and downloading is that when you stream, you're, you're using applications that are third-party applications that are scraping the internet and finding different links. Well, where are those links coming from? Those links are, those scraper apps are scraping for titles. If you're looking for the movie Jaws, if, or you're looking for Jurassic Park, I'm typing into that application, Jurassic Park. It's going to scrape the web. It's going to scrape for those titles. The moment it finds those titles, categorizes it with the IP address for you to click on. So when you click on it, where is it streaming from? It could be a, a, a piece of crap server. It could be a, a web server that it's been hosted on someone's website. You pay a, a, a certain amount of dollars per month or you get a package through Real Debrid, or you get a package through Premium Eyes, and they get great content. They get, they find you better quality links, and that's what you pay for, right? You pay for those companies to help provide your third-party application with better links, and that's fantastic. But still, it is, why is it still hard to find those 4K links? You still can't find those 4K links when it comes to applications like that, but it has to continue to scrape. You have to adjust your settings for a longer scrape period, and some applications might hide those options. So when you scrape those links for longer periods of time, it eventually, it's gonna bring it up to the top that says availability 4K. 
But still, why is it so hard for playback? YouTubers preach about settings. They preach about uh, different players for you to download. You have to be on the, the latest version of MX Pro. Not really. Regardless of what you use as your scraper, the moment that you get that 4K file for you to stream at home takes transcoding for that playback to not catch up the moment that that video starts to play and it's starting to come up right so the moment that it starts to play it will eventually catch up and it causes the buffer so when it starts to buffer it's a that player is still trying to get all that information from that movie and push it ahead so when you move that dial that dial it will start to play when you use applications like plex or mb or jellyfin those have very very good built-in uh transcoders to where it's going to transcode in the beginning and then put it out to where you can fast forward a 4k file with ease before we get ahead those links regardless of what your play uh, what your settings are it could still be be playing on a faulty server or a server that is being bombarded with the amount of traffic when you get these applications that are online that are third party and you can find these apps in um, filing you know in a lot of our stores uh when you do get them they get popular those links get very popular so everyone in the world is going to those web links and eventually they're going to get flooded with people because all of the world is looking for that same link so eventually those servers get hot those servers get bombarded with a lot of traffic. So what do you do? You get your own server. So I want to talk to you about getting yourself a personal seed box. Now I did start a series and guys, I want you to, I am challenging you to try, try to make your experience at home just a slightly better. And I don't want to just show you the easy way. I don't want to just keep showing you guys the e most easiest route to, to get movies and TV shows. You, I can, I can provide you tons and tons and applications, but it gets so repetitive. This app is better. This app is better. That app is better. Nothing is better than getting your own setup. There's people that create Cody uh, add-ons that that design and build scrapers, so you at home could scrape the web and be able to use it as a tool. And that's fantastic. Those are those type of people. There's also there's different types of people that that just want to go and just find the applications and that's okay that's okay if you're someone that's just i just want i don't want to have to freaking download and install it and buy a server and you know i'm okay we're just watching 720 i'm okay we're just watching 10e this video is not for you and that's okay and i we applaud you guys because you know what you probably will find the new applications a lot quicker than me because you're constantly looking for it but for my people that have been asking me about Plex and Jellyfin and MB. How can I set up my own system? How can I set up my playbacks of my video instantly with no buffering at all? And it's going to look beautiful on any device and you can stream it with low internet connection. How is that possible? Well, when you get yourself a seed box, you're buying yourself your own personal server. You're going to then download uh, different applications like your uh, transmission, your 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 torrent bit client that is going to be installed onto that server to where when you're downloading those torrents and, and those videos and those, the, those TV shows and movies, those are going to be installed into different folders on that server. So you use Plex and MB, Jellyfin and other, these other applications to pull that content from your server give you guys the, the the nice layout and thumbnails it gives you that home experience and those applications have it already built in all you have to do is tell your server tell your system exactly what for you to download so i have a series on youtube and i want you guys to go over here real quick uh go to the links inside of the description as a couple part series and it, and watch it from the beginning and you, I want you to comment on those videos and let me know if you guys get stuck. If you guys do get stuck on the process of how to watch, uh, how to install these on, on to Seedbox, I can definitely do that for you. So again, if you guys go over to Ultra Seedbox, you guys can actually set this up really, really simple. So so I want you guys to go over to uh, to Ultra Seedbox where you guys can find an affordable Seedbox for price and plans. So uh, my friend Speedy, my friend Speedy, he lives in Arizona. He uh, he's actually one of our uh, admins for for Outer Limits. So shout out to Speedy. This weekend I'm going to help you uh, set up your Plex at home because you've been asking. I just want to to have the reins and control of the links that I'm downloading. Uh, go over to Ultra Seedbox 
and then you guys can go over to uh, different pl uh, price uh, plans. So I'm gonna put this in um, dollars because I live in the US. And right here, you can see Jaguar, it has pre-installed Plex. You can get a three to four CPU with 20 gigabytes download speed with two about two terabytes worth of space for $15 a month. So when I go over here, this is my server. So when I sign into my server, you're gonna see uh, your disk space, your traffic, uh, your home folders, how much room you actually have left. Uh, when you go over here to applications, you're gonna install applications actually on this server to be able to, <laughs> you're gonna install applications like Transmission, which is your bit torrent client to where it downloads the content onto that server. So we can actually, uh, Sonar and Radar is something that is in that series. Sonar and Radar monitor multiple RSS feeds for new episodes, for new TV shows, for movies. You set it up to what uh, to, to what you want to, uh, to download. And I'm gonna show you right here, I wanna open up uh, Sonar. And this is an application that's 100% free for you to use once you get your server set up. So go over here. You can actually have people on your uh, on your Plex system watching the content that's on your server. So I'm gonna go over here to, um, so we've been watching uh, Vikings. So let's look up Vikings. It's gonna pull up your seasons. So you put this information into, into the, uh, these applications. So, and once you set it up, it's gonna give you the titles, it gives you the 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 the, uh, the file size, and then it, once you set up all your TV shows, you can go over here and look up for your movies. Now, this is the reason why you're watching this video. How am I going to watch my 4K content with instant playback, no buffering? You're going to go over here to Radar, and Radar is for your movies. Once you sign into Radar, again, that uh, series teaches all about this. So we're going to go over here, and we just installed Greyhound. So you're going to click on Greyhound. You can look for the movie. So you see right there, Greyhound 2020. And you can see right here, this is your scraper right here. This is, ex this is exactly what you would do on your scraper app. Instead of scraping for that link and click on it, you're playing on their server. You're actually taking that same file that they scrape for too. And you're gonna put it on your server. So when you put it on your server, you're gonna have that instant playback. You're never gonna buffer because you're playing off your own personal server. Look at these torrents 21 days ago, 20 days ago, right here. You can actually see that, um, and then the indexer that it came from. There's a lot of cool stuff when it comes to building your own system. So I'm challenging you guys at home to, to try to try to build it because you know what once you do get your system set up you're going to be looking over at your plex dang i put my movies in here i'm clicking on these movies i'm watching the king of staten island and it, you know what i put that in there i i created it and uh that's just something i wanted to encourage you guys to, to challenge yourself too so i hope you guys got something out of this today's video if you guys want more videos like this explaining how to set the stuff up go ahead and start that series links are inside of the description below you guys go ahead and click the series from one two and three having a fantastic time teaching you about this this is i trust stream and until the next one i'll talk to you guys later late